Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next live base build video, and this is a Town Hall 10 base. Um, doing another one of my designs, and I think this one's going to be pretty effective. I've been doing designs kind of similar to it. Uh, not that I have this built yet, but the one I have in mind, kind of the basic uh, layout idea I have, uh, I think is something that's been working a lot. And you guys will see what I mean in a minute. In a minute, by kind of the core what that looks like, what I'm planning on. So we'll see how it shapes up. We'll start in just a moment. First, I wanna let you guys know that uh, you can comment the next uh, town hall level you want me to do. But that being said, people have said like 8.5, 9.5. Really, 8.5 is just a town hall eight base. I don't think it's worth making a, a video on, a whole video, just because it's at town hall eight, you know, it's it, Base buildings, you know, there's something there, but it's really not that much because it's so easy to three star at that level. And at Town Hall 9, I think it's mainly just a, t or Town Hall 9.5, I mean, that's mainly just a Town Hall 9 base. So I'm a little skeptical on building some of the more 0.5 bases, but I'm open to doing Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 9. And I don't know if I can really do Town Hall 11, but uh, maybe I could have like a guest account or something. Uh, someone help me out with that who's a Town Hall 11 because obviously I don't have the defenses. But anyway, that is that. Um, also, people have suggested in the uh, comments before that I could have uh, kind of a follow-up to this where I show the base in some friendly challenges so you guys can see it defending in kind of, uh, you know, actual attacks. So if you want me to start doing that, I'd probably have to divide it up into two videos just because I can't really upload a 30-minute video. It just is too much. I might have to break that down into two videos, but let me know if you want me to do that in the comments because that might enhance the series. So anyway, uh, those two things being said, let's go ahead and start this base. Um, while we can, let's get the uh, get the CC down in the middle. That's always a good thing to have, even for a Town Hall 10 base. Don't want to make the clan castle too accessible. We'll put that right there. And then one thing I've been seeing is wizard towers in the core. And uh, they're good against miners. They have the splash damage. And then you kind of can put your giant bombs in there as well. So we'll, we'll do this, we'll kind of spread it out a little bit, um, right like that. Uh, let's just put that over there, and then we can add, I don't know, a cannon or something uh, to the core of the base as well. Where's my cannons? Uh, here we go. Uh, make that kind of the core right like this, and then at some point we'll put the giant bombs in the middle, because putting the giant bombs by the inferno tower it seems like it's not working out quite as well recently. You want them in the core of the base, um, so you can get the miners, the bowlers, whatever's coming through. And that's something I've seen work very well. So anyway, that's done there. Um, we want to get the Inferno Towers down at this point. Let's go ahead and some people do the Inferno Compartment where you have it two tiles from everything. I'm going to go ahead and actually back it up against the wall here. I think the compact bases do work a little better, um, especially if your point defense is higher level. Mine actually is pretty low level point defense mainly Town Hall 9, uh, a few Town Hall 10 Archer Towers. But um, that being said, a, a compact base is still pretty solid. Another thing I'm doing is you can notice how these Inferno compartments, they kind of are a little bit longer. And that is to defend against a Queen Charge, especially with my low level Inferno Towers. Um, let me get some of my lower level walls for this. Uh, this defends against a Queen Charge because she can't reach over the outside wall which is the most obvious direction they'd come with a, uh, a queen charge for that inferno. So that's going to make it very difficult, even for on a regular attack for the queen to snipe that, uh, to snipe that inferno is going to be a lot more tricky uh, if they come at that angle by these walls out here because the queen can't reach. So that's an important thing to note. Uh, get these air defenses down. Uh, the position doesn't matter too much, but right here looks great. Um, at, at some point we have to decide where the queen's going to go and kind of have the hero compartment. I like keeping my heroes together at this point in the game. I'm not sure if that's better or not. I haven't seen a whole lot of bases that don't do it, but I don't think it's too important either way. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Uh, so we'll have the hero compartment out here uh, with the queen, and then we'll probably have the king. And uh, we'll make this a little uh, more compartmentalized. So meaning that we'll have kind of a skinny compartment here and uh, we can add more stuff to that section in a bit if this wall stops acting up. There we go. Uh, it's sometimes kind of hard on my phone screen to do this, but 
I'll fight through it. Um, let's get these expos down in good places where the queen can't reach them from the outside of the base. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw one here. Just going to keep them nice and spread out. We can move the air defenses if we need to. Uh, let's put one over here and kind of one up here. And I think that would cover everything pretty nicely. Um, now one thing notice is that I don't like having the queen too close to the inferno uh, for reasons if they try to come out there, there with the kill squad and get the inferno and the heroes if they're doing like a minor attack. So I'm going to put the town hall over here. It's kind of a buffer building and have the uh, the air defense be a little exposed, but really that's not going to make too much of a difference. Uh, should be just fine. So that looks great. Have the buffer there with the town hall. Um, the expos look great. Uh, from here, we can go ahead and try to make a few compartments, I guess, by the queen's area. So we'll probably have something like this. Um, and at some point, I like just to fill in the compartments, see what I'm working with before I start putting anything else down. So we'll want to have something like that. We'll want a compartment. Uh, we can use these kind of walls out here, just kind of a narrow compartment like this. Um, fill that in right there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, might have to move this out one actually, just so we can continue it uh, down towards the bottom. Um, make it so the expo can't be sniped or anything uh, by the queen, because that's one thing you always want to have is the queen can't reach this expo from the outside of the base. Make them enter the base if they want to get your expos, because that really helps defend against the queen walk. And one of these days I'm going to turn off my notifications. Maybe that'll be part of my uh, 10,000 subscriber celebration. I'll turn off my notifications because uh, it's just it's ridiculous at this point. I've had no notifications in every video, but whatever, you know, worse things have happened on YouTube. Uh, so there's the expo. We might put something in between there, I guess, like an air sweeper. I haven't really thought about the air sweepers that much. One thing is that I don't like them pointed out as much anymore. I used to do that, but the thing I've noticed is that they push back the healers, which can help sometimes to keep them away from the air defenses. So at least, I mean, it goes both ways to an extent, but I think that sometimes having them not cover the outside of the base will make a queen walk trickier because the air defenses will be taking out the healers and this, this wall. So yeah, that's an important thing to think about is your air sweeper placement. So we'll, we'll worry about those later. Um, let's just kind of keep covering up the rest of the base at this point. Uh, we're going to have a compartment that goes like that. A nice uh, skinny one, which I like to put here. Uh, makes funneling difficult, just uh, a good idea to do in general. Uh, we'll have that go there. Um, we can add something like right here. Another compartment here. Uh, help protect the queen a little bit. Same thing on this side. Uh, over like that. Yeah, that's good. Um, let's see what else we need here. Probably something down at the bottom here. Yeah, I kind of got a little tight on space. Hopefully I don't have to rearrange the space too much because we are out of walls, I think. Yeah, we are out of walls and we're a little bit low. So what we'll do is we'll just make this all one compartment. Uh, typically this doesn't happen to me. Uh, I guess not my best base build. But anyway, pretty easy adjustment. Just take out that wall. We'll make this bottom compartment all one thing. And now we have plenty uh, to cover us. So we'll just extend that out to pretty much over there. And always want to protect the air defenses from a queen walk. And the reason, actually, this is an important thing to note. It's not only because, you know, they could do a queen walk Laloon attack. That's not the biggest threat. The biggest threat um, not really a threat, but in a thing that makes it easy on them is the queen can take out the air defense on her walk so it can't take out the healers. You want that air defense right on the corner there so the queen can't quite reach it, but she's going to get close enough that the healers will get shot down unless she enters the base or something. And at that point, you have the inferno there to help out. So uh, that definitely is uh, a thing you want to do is make it so that the air defenses can't be reached like that. Um, but anyway, we have the three walls left. We'll just hold on to those, see if we need them at some point. Looks like we might need them up here, actually. Um, let's extend this wall out to right about here. And this should uh, use up pretty much the rest of our walls. Actually, we don't even have enough. Uh, let's do that. And then we'll move this over. Um, where'd all my walls go? 
Seems like they disappeared somewhere. I guess this is all I have. Okay. Um, slide that there. We can actually move it over one. Um, still kind of annoying trying to build a base sometimes. It's easier on my iPad though. So anyway, uh, the queen can't reach the air defense there. So all good. Don't have any walls left. So kind of have to make do with what we have. But I think the compartments look pretty good. That one expo, if I can kind of hide that guy a little bit more, that might be better. I don't want him to get sniped or her. Got to be gender neutral on YouTube now. I don't want uh, the expo to get sniped uh, by a queen walk either. So I think, I think, well, actually, I don't know. That's just, just to make it, and I think this is going to make the video just go a lot longer, but I, I want to make sure I make a good base for you guys in case you do end up using this. Um, so I think just doing that will help out a lot more, even if the queen's a little bit more exposed. So anyway, we've gotten kind of the main structure of the base done. Uh, from here, I like to fill in defenses, arrange stuff. Um, we can throw in another good anti-queen walk thing right here at the bottom. Where's my archer? I have some high-level archer towers, uh, so that's that's always good to have. And uh, okay, now this is going to be a problem. This three space is not a good idea for queen walks. And I, you you hear me saying queen walk over and over again, and it might sound like okay, why are you worrying about queen walk so much? It's something that by doing this, you're you're giving yourself a leg up against the base or against the attacker. It's not something that's really thought about that much, but it makes a big difference. So there's one wall I've already been able to find. If I can just find one more wall in here. Sometimes just by doing these little adjustments, you can pick out a few walls for pretty much no cost to your base. So that was pretty sneaky right there. I uh, got an extra two walls and we're good to go. So that makes a big difference, something small like that. That's the, the little things that matter in these kind of base builds. So anyway, um, I'm just going to let this go. That expo probably could be queen walked, but you know what, got to let it go. We'll throw a DE storage here so it's going to take forever to get to it. Um, can't spend, I said before it's important, but we can't spend all our time on that. So anyway, um, let's get the core of the base going though with these giant bombs. And uh, when you're looking at how they're going to attack the base from the perspective of a, you know, a quote unquote spam attack with miners or bowlers or something, they'll probably come at one of the inferno towers. So I would elect for miners especially, they'll come at the one not by the queen. They might send the heroes in for the queen and the inferno. So on the other side, we have the, uh, the big giant bomb set up uh, to try to get a bunch of them at once, kind of a triple giant bomb there, and then a double over here just in case they do come from that side. And pretty much that core can be pretty deadly. Um, so we'll go ahead and roll with that. I think it looks good. Uh, from here, let's keep throwing in defenses. Uh, let's throw the sweeper right here. Um, let's put the other sweeper right here and just have them pointed uh, back into the base in case there's some kind of you know dragon attack or air attack. Um, but they're not going to be an issue on the queen walk. They won't push back the healers, but they won't keep the healers out of range of the air defenses. That's something I'm back and forth on, but for right now, I think that's uh, it's good to keep them like that. So anyway, this area is pretty good against a queen walk, so I feel like I can put some more point defense without any risk of it being you know, taken out for too easy value. So we'll put a cannon there. Um, let's get that little level archer tower out of the way. It's just kind of annoying me over here. Uh, that there. We'll even throw a mortar down. So quite a few defenses down here. Uh, but we do want to have that HP as kind of a buffer, so we'll put these two right like that, and we're we're good to go in that compartment. It looks like we'll fill in traps later. Um, from here, what we can do is uh, let's put a little bit of an HP block on this inferno tower, keep it like that, and then we'll have um, some of our defenses in this area, uh, kind of on the sides of it. Um, go like actually that's a good place to put the archer tower to rack up some point defense kind of on the inside of the base. We'll put that there. Um, Archer Tower here. Archer Tower there. Um, got a few more. Um, we'll do one, one here and we'll finish it off with one up here. So got all of the Archer Towers taken care of. Let's put that actually down right there. That's a little better. Um, and then we'll throw the last cannon. Just getting rid of all this point defense, I guess. This last cannon right here. We'll put some HP in the way. Uh, HP there. Just using these kind of as we go. 
Uh, that's another one, good one to have there. And then boom. Okay, so the HP is kind of all around here to both act as kind of a, a little bit of a speed bump when they're entering the base, as well as a time waster for queen walks. Um, so those are, you know, good things. Don't put your HP inside the middle of your base. I mean, okay, it can work against miners a little bit because the miners will get stuck on it while they're getting targeted by defenses. But really, I think that they're better on the outside of the base for the setup of the attack to get the little things. Um, I think putting them in the middle of your base is going to make it too easy to kind of do the queen walks, do the entries, do all that kind of stuff. So that's just my opinion, you know, this is how I build my base. It, it, my bases aren't always the best, and if I do end up kind of in the future showing them in some friendly challenges, I might be, you know, quote unquote exposed for not having the best bases, but I think they'll hold up okay. Uh, we'll see how that works. Um, let's put a mortar there. Um, let's see what else we have. We got <clears throat> um, another, another mortar, which uh, I don't want to put it too deep in the base. That's too... It's too good of a spot for a mortar. It doesn't deserve it. We'll put the cannon in there. We'll put the mortar out here. So keeping the point defense on the inside. I don't care if they get percentage. So I'm not trying to like you know stop them from sniping my buildings on the outside. I re you know really doesn't matter to me. Um, we'll put the last mortar there. So gotten pretty much all the defenses done. Uh, Testas what you have to think about. Some people put their Teslas down early, but that's I like kind of just looking at how the base is and seeing where the Teslas are needed. Um, as far as where they'll go in this base, there's not a lot of room, which I like. I like compact bases. I think they're kind of going to be the new thing, uh, especially with miners not being as effective against them in most cases. Um, but we'll we'll kind of spread things out a little bit. We'll put this. Uh, actually, no, got to keep it kind of in the inside. We'll move this archer tower over, that's what we'll do. Then we'll throw a Tesla right back here. Hides behind the HP, which is great. Can take out wall breakers. Just kind of a high value placement. We'll put something here, because I know they're gonna try to use um, some kind of baby dragon or something over there, or just try to take advantage of the lack of defenses. So we'll, we'll throw that there. Actually, what we'll do is we'll spread these out and put that right in there to kind of be sneaky. They won't see it coming. Um, the last few, what we can do is, I mean, not really a whole lot of places, to be honest. Um, let's throw one in the core here, just make it that much harder. Um, and then I'll talk a little bit more about the core when we start adding some traps. In the final one, we'll just put, um, up here by the town hall. Hopefully something will get stuck on the town hall so the test that can help out. So pretty spread out. In the past, I've also spread them out around the base. Um, and I think that's just kind of what I, I like more. I don't like Tesla farms at Town Hall 10, although some people do do them and they can work situationally. So anyway, with the skeleton traps, you want to think, um, you know, do I need them to defend my Inferno Towers from a Queen charge or something like that? And to me, the answer is no. I think the Infernos are pretty protected. So at that point, you're using them for miners because they are super good against miners. Um, I could have a whole other video on that, I guess. Because if you just put them like, you know, right kind of towards the core of your base where you can suspect miners are coming through, this is going to do a few things. It's going to keep them up. They're going to not be able to duck back down. Let's keep them all away from the heroes because I think they'll come for, they'll, the attacker will come for, for the heroes uh, with their kill squad. So let's keep them down towards the south. But the miners are going to get stuck on the uh, skellies. They won't be able to duck down. They have to take them out one at a time. It's a long process. They get hit by giant bombs, wizard towers, infernos. They don't get the heal bonus with the infernos on them. It's a good situation for the defender. So that's what you want to do with your uh, skellies for the most part. Keep them on ground for sure. No point having an air skelly. Uh, these black bombs, some people are uh, gutsy enough to put them towards the outside to get some baby dragons. I personally am not. I just like keeping them by the air defenses. When my base gets closer to max and I think, you know, no one's going to have to restart me with a dragon attack or a, probably not a Laloon attack if I have a good base, then I might put them towards the outside and get a little bolder. That's an idea you guys can, or a, a decision you guys can make for yourself. But for right now, I'm going to keep them uh, by my air defenses because I think I need all the help I can get with my kind of low level base. And then these little guys right here, just put them towards the outside to um, get minions, to you know, get baby dragons, and uh, if they do come in with some balloons or something, maybe you'll get a few of those. So if there's any obvious defenses, they might try. 
I guess there's not much air coverage over here, so we'll throw one down there. Um, but besides that, really most things are covered. So we can put you know one down there, um, and uh, one over here. So that that's that's good. Not paying too much attention there. Uh, these spring traps are also good. I had to take out various things. We'll kind of make this a pretty hard compartment. We can put three of them in here. Uh, really, you know, put the pressure on. We'll put this down here, um, and make it a difficult. Uh, compartment for a, a troop to go through. Um, so that's good there. We'll throw one in this little cluster. Let's move that bomb over. We'll put one there. <clears throat> uh, we'll put... Where else should we throw one? We'll put one in this area. Just kind of between clusters of buildings. Try to get some stuff thrown off your base. I'm not going to bother putting them in the core because that's already too, uh, you know, high trap zone. Don't want to put all my eggs in one basket, so to speak. And we'll throw this last one right over here. So that looks great. I think that's uh, going to be good, effective places. And for the single bombs, I've been back and forth on this. I actually, I've started to put them back towards the outside of the base. I just don't think they're doing enough against stuff on the inside. Uh, catch some wall breakers or something. So I'll just go ahead and throw this stuff out here. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe get a wall breaker. So sometimes put them all on one side of the base to really sell out where you think they're going to enter with their wall breakers. Uh, but I think I've put pretty much everything down. Uh, I don't put my trash buildings down, just kind of the generic stuff, because uh, it's not important. You know, you can put them wherever, really. Just kind of spread them out around your base. And uh, the high HP is probably the most important thing. So I always put my storages down in these types of videos. So anyway, um, we'll go ahead and show the walls of this base. That's what it looks like, right like that. Um, so pretty compact base, I guess, compared to some. And then we'll go ahead and do photo, oops, turn that off, go to photo mode in case you guys want to get a better look at that. So this is the base, guys. Hope you like it. Um, hope you like the series and everything's uh, good. As I said, you can comment both uh, what town hall level you want me to do next, as well as if you want me to start doing a follow-up video to these where I show them in some friendly challenges, um, probably starting with the next one. I'm not sure if I can uh, do friendly challenges with this one. I'm going to be busy this weekend. Uh, so anyway... Hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I look forward to making some more this weekend when I have the time and I appreciate everyone who's you know coming to the channel of, of late and also all the long time subscribers. So thank you to all of you guys. Uh, but long video today. Hope you liked it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye Sectatron out.